Welcome Capricorn to my channel. Uh, this is Robin with Aries Fire Tarot and I'm just getting ready to do monthly readings for the month of December. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a combination of decks right now and I'm just going to do a general reading for Capricorn for the month of December. Um, so right now I'm shuffling the Gilded Tarot deck and this is what that deck looks like and then I'm gonna use the essential tarot also. So, um, yeah, just gonna do a little bit of shuffling here. Um, I don't know how many people celebrate what kind of holiday in December. I know there's so many different faiths and cultures. Um, I mean, I'm Irish. And I'm from Canada, so we do Christmas here, but I mean, I'm not religious, so <clears throat> like I'm more of a spiritual person, so um, I don't really get into it that much anymore. I think it's fun for kids, but like I don't want to insult anybody's religion or culture, but it's just, for me, like it's not a, a big thing. Um, the biggest thing about December for me is that it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> so good time to get together with family though and share some meals and some good times regardless of whatever your your faith is or your culture or your spirituality so I feel like I need to do a deck cut and then I'm going to pull from the top of the deck cut for your reading um, I just want to also prep the essential tarot so um, I don't know what this general reading is going to say to us, right? But I do love readings for each sign too. So um, love might appear in the cards again for the general reading. Who knows? We'll just see what comes out. Okay, so I shuffled the essential tarot. I'm going to put those to the side. Shuffled the gilded tarot and we're good to go here. I'm gonna start pulling some cards. Let's do this Capricorn. Okay, so um, big message right off the hop here. This is the tower. Um, the tower card comes up when something is just about to get shaken up pretty good in your life, right? Um, some sort of massive change is about to happen. So with the tower, um, you just have to remember that you have a strong foundation here. If you look really closely at this card, like it's the tower splitting at the top, uh, but the foundation is quite strong and stable. So I'm seeing some sort of family squabble that's going to change something. Like it's going to shake up your life. And so we'll, we'll do some more cards though. So I've got the Queen of Wands here. So the Queen of Wands energy is um, so overall a pretty caring person. They are, you know, they're always busy with friends and family. They like to volunteer. They are, they're like hectically messy, but generally overall very happy, but, um, I, I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of the Queen of Wands either. So this could be your energy right now or the energy of someone you know. I'll just keep pulling some cards until we can string a few together here. Hmm. So here's the Devil card and this the devil card, it comes to us when there's some sort of behavior that sort of needs to stop, right? It's also an indication of, well, I guess it's the same thing really, but like an addiction or being a little bit shady. That's interesting.
scary dude, that devil. Like he's, he shows like the darker side here, right? There's fire on every single one of these cards. I'm getting the impression of intervention. Maybe somebody you know, maybe somebody in your family, maybe it's you, needs to stop doing something. Could be anything, shopping, smoking, eating, not exercising, but I think this is something huge. Hold on. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is something like weighing very heavily on your mind right now, um, keeping you up at night, and it just feels like you're under a bunch of daggers. Your thoughts are just consumed with something. Could be this. I want to pull some essential tarot cards so we can sort of define what this tower is all about. I'm going to use these cards to clarify the Gilded Tarot cards that I put down here. So uh, what's happening with this tower card? You know, shuffling seems like it should be a pretty easy exercise, but I screwed up nine times out of ten. Okay, so on the tower card, um, I pulled the moon. So the moon energy is like something needs to be illuminated and something needs to change, right? With the moon. If you can see that, okay, there's, there's like wolves howling at the moon. Things look different in the light of day is what the moon card is saying, right? That didn't answer my question. I'm gonna pull a card on the Queen of Wands. So I've got the Seven of Pentacles here for the Queen of Wands. So um, Seven of Pentacles is related to building wealth for yourself and your family and like with a mind set to provide for the generation generations that come past you like so like if you have kids and your grandkids and stuff like that your extended family you're looking out not just at yourself in this present moment and that's under the queen of wands so my sense is that you've got a strong and I want to say female figure in your family, that like the matriarch of your family, and she is trying to make your home comfortable. For all of you, this could be your mother, this could be your, your partner, They're working really hard at keeping the house, like your home life stable. But on either side of that, like there's sort of a sandwich of, of the devil and the tower where something's being hidden. Okay, so underneath the devil, the devil card, um, I pulled the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is about going back or picking up some sort of education, right? Either a new job or you're going back to school or you're just continuing education somehow. I'm getting the sense that this card is about procrastination. Stop putting it off. Stop putting it off. Like you you have like a, a grand plan to make your life better. But I think some things are getting in the way, like you keep putting it off 
for whatever reason. And I think you're kind of hiding that reason from your loved ones. And it's something that is really bothering you. I'm going to pull another card on the Nine of Swords for you guys. It's the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is related to um, like a new beginning, right? A new beginning coming into your life. And you've been worried about it not happening because you've been procrastinating so much. Keep in mind, this is not for everybody, right? Um, you guys, it's a general read. So if it's not applying to you, um, just know that it's applying to somebody. So, um, I mean, I'm happy to do one-on-one -on -one readings for you guys. You just have to book them at ariesfiretarot at gmail.com. I just have to, like, because I don't want you sitting there going, oh, what a crappy reader, because somebody is getting this, and probably many people are getting this. So, um, so we've got... Definitely something going on to stop the path. I can see it in your cards that there's something for you, like with the new beginning and like going back and back to school or back to an old job. Hold on, I'm listening. Or looking for a job if you don't have one right now and building wealth like you're really that's really important to you hmm. so what's stopping you what's stopping you here with the moon energy like what's in your way right now is it just because you're so anxious or is it truly because you're battling some sort of demon that you don't want anybody to know about. I think it's this, actually. And then I think somebody in your family, and like I, I just see somebody like a female in your life, a really strong female in your life, or somebody with like feminine energy, right? The like the the traits of the Queen of Wands. They're they're coming in, and I think they're they're going to. I just got the phrase pushed into my brain: set you straight, and it's going to um, it's going to shake you up. I think it's going to pull you out of whatever sort of mode you're in here that's making you kind of sulk and not want to face reality I know that's kind of a strong word but something's holding you back Capricorn and you have so much going on for your future and the ace of cups the ace of cups and the tower are kitty corner to each other here like on my my spread here um this is gonna happen pretty soon. I see this happening before the end of December actually. So maybe you will get that, the job offer or, like I'm really just getting a sense of there's a higher learning involved here. It's, it's been bothering you. I don't think you feel yourself right now. But something's gonna come in, and I see this within the next two to three weeks. It's going to come in, it's going to change everything, and it's going to happen like in a combination with a turn of events, like, a, like an upswing, an upturn, and the presence of a strong woman in your life. Like the combination of these two things, it's going to um, 
shake you so much that you're going to break out of whatever lethargy you're in with the devil card. You know. The devil doesn't care about you, right? The devil... The devil just wants to keep you down, that energy. Like, I don't, I don't believe in the devil. I do believe that people wrestle with demons, their own demons, and they need help getting past things. No, oh, I think that card right there needs to be read. I'm actually gonna pull these two. I'm just gonna supplement this reading a little bit because I see something coming here, but I'm not 100% sure what it is yet, so hold on. Amazing. Okay, so yeah, we've got the, the Five of Cups here that it sort of, something happened in your past. Maybe you got fired. Maybe you got kicked out of school. I'm seeing something like that, and it kind of led you like to some really bad lazy habits like video gaming and um, just sort of being a sloth around the house and like not being of huge use to anybody. Um, but you've been kind of putting up a bit of a, a front, you know, when you're, you're hiding your reality from your loved ones. But you have like, whatever happened in the past, it's, it's the past, like you can turn around from that and see that there's a new new opportunity for you. It's just sitting there waiting. And I just wanna show you this other card that I got here. Um, I've actually pulled the Ace of Cups a second time from the Gilded Tarot. So um, your spirits, they're, they're coming through this, these cards and they're saying, you know, you have to snap out of whatever it is that's holding you down. Um, and I pulled two Ace of Cup cards for you guys, Capricorn. So maybe you're just feeling mediocre and like your life will never be what you want it to be. But as long as you stay in that mindset, that's exactly where you're going to be, right? So um, you're, you're capable of so much more, like whatever you think you are, that's what you're going to be. So you really just need to shake that all off, right? Um, and it's, it's going to happen, whether you see it coming or whether you want it to or not, um, it's going to happen and it's, it's going to be amazing for you. It's gonna be quite a turnaround. Um, I think there's going to be a bit of work ahead of that. I actually see one to two years, but whatever kind of slump you're in right now, that's gonna end with the tower. And you guys are just going to, um, you're just gonna look back at this sort of time in your life and go, oh, I can't even believe that used to be me, right? You're, you're just going to kind of, it's gonna be such a distant memory of who you used to be. Like, I think right now you're, you're like um, searching for a witty metaphor here. Um, like you're like um, a chrysalis, right? You're you're about to you're about to burst out of your cocoon, um, but it's gonna be painful. I think somebody's words. You're not gonna appreciate it very much, in the beginning. But then I think that is just going to set off a domino effect in your life, and things are going to go very very well when this opportunity comes, like, just take it, take it. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. Um, you got a little work to do. So, um, 
you know, get cracking and I hope you can turn it around for those of you that are kind of in a bit of a slump right now. The cards are holding a really good future for you, right? Cups, emotion, pentacles, money, pentacles, lifetime of money. And money equals security, you know, so anyway, Capricorn, thanks for listening. Um, hope all goes well. Um, take care. Stay blessed. Bye. Thanks.